what is up guys welcome back today we are actually going to be jumping into the actual gun itself and we're going to be taking it apart so that we can paint it i haven't taken one of these apart before so it is going to be completely new i'm not going to know what i'm doing so we're just gonna start doing um i guess well technically i've taken these things apart before that's pretty easy to do um, but I've never taken any screws off any of these. Um, so I guess we'll just start with the front piece. Set the other two off to the side. And uh, let's see, I've got a screwdriver, or screws there. Take them off with the screwdriver. Start from the front, work our way back. And I'll get the little tub here. That screw's not ready to come out yet to uh, put screws in. Always make sure that you have something to put screws in when you're taking stuff apart because losing screws is bad. And having this on film too, um, most people like to take pictures as they're pulling things apart, but since I'm recording right now, um, then I won't have to. Um, the nice thing, I do know how to take that little piece apart. I lied about not ever taking it apart. Um, I do know that that front piece comes off, and that'll be nice because we'll save this, and we won't paint this, so then just the tip can be orange. So we're going to set that off to the side here. Um, uh, here's some screws. We'll just start taking off the sides here. And these are also pieces that we're going to paint with uh, the model paint right there. As you can see, it's got the same design, which is really cool. And uh, those big screw-like things, I'll probably paint those too. Should probably get that magnet out. I think it's over here. It is. So that is useful for pulling screws out that are stubborn. Right. Just like that. I'll get this last one out here and hopefully this thing will pop right open. That one's way too far in for the magnet to even do anything. This one's going to be a very stubborn one, isn't he? Come on, buddy. There we go. Got it. Cool. Whoa. All right, so I've dealt with these before. Got to be very careful with them. They're the little attachment clip. They've got a little spring on them, so we're going to remove those and set those off to the side also. So we don't want to lose those. And, uh, okay, so that goes there. This is the, uh, the barrel, which, uh, do I have a Sharpie anywhere? No, but I have a pencil. That's not a sharpened pencil. Here's a pencil right in front of me. Um, I'm going to mark an F on that for front, because that came out of the front. I don't know if it's interchangeable or not, but I'm not going to take chances. I think this just comes off of here. It does. And uh, we are left with this, which only that little button. So that's everything. I don't think anything loose is still on, though, so... That's how the front comes apart, and I'm actually only going to be taking apart one of the uh, Nerf guns for the video because obviously you can. They're not going to be any different taking apart, so there's no reason for me to uh, take both of them apart. If you want to see it twice, rewind the video. Um.
I'll take this part apart later. There's just two little screws, one here and one here, and it should pop right apart. Um, yeah, so that's the front. Um, you know, I'm just going to put those in there anyways. I know where the screws go where. So I know that's for the front. Set that up there. All right, um, let's move to the back first, actually. That'll be the easiest part. Um, yeah, let's take this one apart, too. So it looks like to get this little button out, there's a couple of screws on the bottom here. And we're going to undo. I feel like that might want to pop out. I'll start putting stuff in the... You probably can't see if I have that there. Like that. Um, whoa! Alright, so I think that screw just kind of sat like that. Pushed in there. Um, I think. Like so. Yeah, probably. All right, so now I know how that goes, and that's that's it for that. Yep, and uh, doesn't look like there's anything else except just the uh, other screws to start coming apart on the actual. I'm gonna lay it down. I'm just gonna unscrew them all first. If they come out, they come out. Hopefully, though, yeah, those are different size screws. at least much different I mean if they were different sized or different threads and I didn't see that that could be bad so make sure if the screws are different you can differentiate between them you know you can tell which ones are which and if not label them because you can get yourself into quite a mess um, if there's 50 to 100 screws in a something you're taking apart and you don't know which ones are which Going back and watching a video or taking pictures doesn't usually help with that either. Alright, um, we'll use the magnet for this. One, two, three, that one didn't come out, four, five, this last one here. There we go. Um, why do you know open? Um, eh. Oh, it's just very tight. Alright, so there's that center piece there. Um, boy, I have no clue how that front comes off. It probably doesn't. So, I won't mess with it. Urgh. That doesn't sound good. Urgh. Wow, is that tight. Alright. So did I break anything? Thumb appear to. Did I drop something? As you can see in here, there's some little, looks like broken off pieces, but that might just be from the mold in the factory. Um, oh yeah, because there's some glue stuff there where that was held in. Um, so that's the back there. We're going to paint these bars. Actually, uh, we'll see about these bars. I might keep them the same color, um, just so that, you know, then I don't have to worry about painting them and getting them scratched again, because this is colored plastic. It's not painted over. Um, and then I won't have to worry. Um, so I'll probably just leave those the same, but everything else will get painted, um, Ooh, if I paint this, I might detail paint that. That would be fun to do on both of these. Um, that, that, and uh, those would obviously both be spray painted a different color um, by just taping those off and spraying them. That's easy enough. Um, yeah. 
So those are that. Let's set that aside. Put those in there. That is our... Alright, now let's get to um, the actual gun itself. So, where to start? Uh, we'll start up here, I guess. Let's go up on this slide. And apparently, um, I did watch a couple videos before I did this just to make sure that I wouldn't be breaking anything and stuff. But um, the internals in this gun are pretty crazy, and uh, the slide is a little bit different than other Nerf guns. If you are watching this because you've done other guns and you want to do this gun or something like that, there's something weird with the slide apparently. It's like, most of them if you unclip it, it like falls out. There's like the, I'll have to show you when I actually get it. There's like a wide head screw that's holding it in on the inside. So instead of taking this off before you can take the rest of the gun off, you actually have to undo the whole gun and then the slides come off. So I don't think there's anything else under there. So we'll just start undoing screws. All right, that's a really long screw. Um, start taking them out here. Rut row. That could have been bad. All right, um, that looks like all the screws there. Um, there is also this black piece here that has to come off before. And I'm not going to paint that, obviously, because it's already black. And it's a point of major contact where it would just get all scraped up. So if it's a little different shade of black, I'm not going to be too uh, angry about it, I guess. If it looks really bad, I can always go back later and paint it. But as of my thinking right now, the gun, or the tail end here is going to be covering it most of the time. At least that part anyways. Maybe I'll paint this part, but I, I don't really see why it's such a big deal. So, I probably won't paint that. Just a thought. Um, oh, oh, here's the spring. It's pretty neat. And uh, there's a couple of screws underneath here that need to come out. Before you can open the gun. Wow, a couple of these screws are just really tight, like they put some sort of uh, adhesive on them. And the magnet can't reach that one. All right, um, so let's carefully pry open recon. All right, that goes down there. 
I'll figure that out pretty quick. Underneath here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See that right there? It's a big whitehead screw that's holding that on there. Um, so we'll remove that when time comes. There's a little trigger here that does this mechanism. Wow. Alright, there's a lot of moving parts in here that I really don't want to mess up. Um, stuff inside here too. Okay, wow. Um, I'm actually going to take a couple pictures and do some uh, documenting of all these parts real quick. And I'll get back to you because I really don't want to mess these guns up. Alrighty, so I've taken some pictures. Now we can start carefully pulling things apart. Um, first off, let's access door. Alright, well, let's... Oh boy, so many moving parts. Do you see all this? I don't know what to do first. Um, alright, I guess I'm gonna take that off first. Oh boy. Come here. Alrighty. Not sure how that happened. I really don't understand that. Oh. That's how it happened. Alright, that goes on there. So that I know. Um, that. Wow, this is confusing. Okay, why won't that slide on now? Has I broken something? Where's that all the way? Okay. I guess that is the trigger mechanism. And that there appears to be the button for uh, unlocking the magazine, but that doesn't appear like it is going to come off, so we're going to have to deal with that while we're painting. That comes off. That big piece comes off. It's got a little spring in there too. Um, and there are a lot of pieces to this. Oh boy, am I going to be able to put this back together? That'll be the main question. Actually, I will probably be uh, spending a little bit of time putting all of this back together after I record this video before I do any painting uh, to make sure that I can put it all back together because it's not looking like it's going to be too easy. I'm going to get out a separate one here for the inside. Does that want to come out now? Not yet. Not until that little piece comes off. So, as a friendly reminder to myself, that goes that way. Alright, well, that is the inside of the Nerf gun. And uh, right now I'm going to be messing around and trying to put this back together. And uh, in a couple seconds for you, you'll be seeing me heading over to uh, painting all this. So uh, let's hop right over. All right, so the moment of truth. I've just kind of thrown all the pieces, the you know, 
very essential pieces back in. I haven't screwed the stuff down yet, um, but I'm just going to do a quick test. Oh, seems to work. I don't think anything is uh, wrong. So that's why that cap is there, if you guys didn't know. I actually did know that. Um, how's it go? It goes like that. That hides that. Which is pretty cool. Oh, one last thing I wanted to try that. That's pretty easy. Alright, so I now know how to reconstruct this. Um, now we are ready to go back to painting. So, see you then.